Hey everyone, and in this time in this video, I want to quickly talk about the check-in feature that is available on the iOS 17, basically on any iPhone. And I just want to walk through it. I want to show you how it works and what it looks like. So let me just get started. First of all, it works inside of the messages and check-in is pretty much, if I were to describe it quickly, it's a feature to like let someone else know that you came back from a certain location, you got back home, you're safe and all that. So it's a great feature. You don't really have to text anyone that you are there. It just works like a separate feature. But anyways, if you start a brand new message on your iPhone, you know that in iOS 17, we no longer have the slider for the apps. We instead have the plus, so you tap on a plus and you have the basic options like the camera, photo stickers, whatever, but you have the more so you can tap on it or just swipe up like this. For some reason, it just takes up only half of the screen. I believe it's because it's easier that way to use it with your thumb. And the check-in option is literally right there. It's the yellow uh, button, which you can tap on. It looks like this. So this is an explanation as well. Let your friend know you've arrived with the check-in. So the other person is gonna be notified automatically when you reach your destination. So you're gonna click on continue and you can use it as a live activity. So iPhone will keep up with your progress. So that's how it works. And you'll be prompted and have 15 minutes to respond. So that means that if you are not coming back, it could happen that something wrong happened or whatever. So you can just keep or like tap that you're fine and that you keep going. Anyways, tap on continue. And here are some uh, options you have. So you can either share full data. So you can see there is some kind of data you need to share if you don't arrive. So if you just don't make it to your destination on time, your iPhone will notify your friend and share the data you've chosen. And this can either be limited, which only shows the current location and details about the battery and the network or the full information, which includes everything. So yeah, like the travel road and um, if you like unlock the Apple Watch, so it's much more in the depth. I, I personally think that the limited is just okay, but you also have the option to show examples. So the example data, this is the limited. Uh, you can see that uh, the iPhone was unlocked in the past 20 minutes, in 20 minutes ago. This is the signal, this is the battery, the Apple Watch has been removed. This is the limited data. However, if you click on the full data, you can see the exact route that that person took and you can see every single step of the way. So you can again see that uh, the iPhone was unlocked 20 minutes ago but you also have like the same stuff and you can see that on at this point the iphone has been unlocked and that this location and the person took this route to their destination so this is just an example but i'm going to keep on and continue with the with the limited so go ahead and continue and your friend is notified when you send the check-in so you can see you arrive and you are delayed so there are three options when the other person is notified as you can read through it, yeah, you either send the check-in, you arrive, and you are delayed. So you can send the check-in like this. And this is basically how it works. Of course, you cannot send through it, uh, send it through the uh, um, basic messages. Uh, it has to be iMessage, but this is how this works. So uh, you only choose like a specific person and you send them the check-in. And at this point, you can only choose like who you're going to send it to. But this is uh, how you can set it up and how you can change it. It's the same thing. It works a very simple way. So I just wanted to demonstrate to you how it works and how you're going to be able to use it. So as I said, the next step is only to choose the person that is going to receive it and also just choose your destination inside in here. So that's how it works. I really do hope that I showed you a little bit at least how you're going to be able to use it once iOS 17 is going to be released for the public. I really do hope that you found it useful. And for more videos like this one, also, if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the thumbs up. And for more videos like this one, make sure you are also subscribed to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you in the future. Peace, guys.